Welcome back to the channel folks and oh what a week it has been. Surrounded by fires on Monday, ashes everywhere, covered my car before I can get it in the garage. Thank goodness we never got evacuated and now life is pretty much back to normal. Seatbelts showed up from Seatbelt Planet last week and I have not had a chance to open the box and look at them so we're going to do that together and we're going to reinstall these things and I'm going to reveal how they look. I think you're going to love them. Real quick, before we check out the seat belts, and if you're new to this channel, this is something I do. Once every couple weeks, I will take just a couple of minutes at the beginning of the video and share some motivational stuff or shout out to some of my subscribers and patrons on Patreon and, and just show my appreciation, but also try to inspire and help any of you out there that might be struggling or going through some challenges or trying to meet some objectives or grow in your life reach levels of success that maybe you didn't believe until you got to this channel that you could actually aspire to. So um, bear with me, I will put the time here if you just wanna fast forward through this. But um, I've had several people write, thank goodness I didn't fast forward through this because it was worth hearing. So I got a message and I probably get 10, 15 private messages um, after every single video and a couple of them are really, I try to respond to everybody, but a couple of them just really grabbed me right here. And recently I got one that I wanted to share with you all and it moved me and it made me absolute just more committed and just between us as a couple people here watching um, this last few weeks three or four videos either they're crappy videos or YouTube shutting off the whole email feature to the subscribers has kind of you know dampened views a little bit so it could be discouraging so I've had to self motivate myself to stay focused and driven on this which is why I'm almost doubling the amount of content I'm gonna be putting out but I got this message and it reinvigorated me to continue down the path that I'm on so let me read this to you all and maybe it'll inspire some of you but at the very least it'll kind of explain why I'm so committed to this this motivational um, aspiration that I have to help people that I don't even know and to make the world a little bit better. So here it goes. Hey OC Motivator, I've been watching your videos since you had around 5,000 subs. I know this isn't going to sound professional in any way, but bear with me. I literally watch your videos every time you upload. I see all these content creators on YouTube and see how well of a job you're doing. I know you're going to succeed in this YouTube journey you're on, and it's good to see. It's kind of crazy how I feel like I know you, man. You have no idea who I even am, but it feels like I literally know you. It's crazy. To break it all down a little, I'm 17 years old and just graduated high school, trying to get myself out of the gang life. I've been staying away for about uh, four months now. I took the wrong path at the age of 13 and finally realized that I've gotten older. It's sad I was raised into it, but I don't want to get too personal knowing whether or not you're going to even respond. You have no idea the impact you have on me. You're helping me over a screen. You make my days better in the smallest ways. You literally put the biggest smile on my face, bro. It's so crazy. Ha ha. I never felt the need to message you, but tonight at 424 in the morning, I just felt like I had to. Me being 17 and just out of high school, I have two years of driving experience, and at 18, I'm planning on working towards a Hellcat. I was going to work a full-time and a part-time job just to be able to afford it. I stay in Los Angeles and I was going to look for a job now, but I doubt there's any good paying job since I'm a minor. But the point is, man, I appreciate you being you. I just want a response, man. Again, I'm saving up for the Hellcat because you've inspired me. It's also been my dream car since I was 14. I'm glad I'm doing better for myself in life and I'm glad your videos help. I really do appreciate you again, brother. And if you're wondering if I wrote back, of course I wrote back and I'll keep that between me and him. But we had a great conversation and I shared my tremendous appreciation for him being so open and sharing this and obviously keeping his name confidential because that's some pretty deep stuff. But he did say I could share this with you all. 
So with that, folks, all I can tell you is, you know, reach out, go to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash OC Motivator. There's tons of free content there, so you don't have to sign up and pay anything if you don't want to. I, I'm good with that. I don't want anybody spending money that they don't have and they need for other things um, to access the other stuff. It's there if you want it, and obviously it helps keep the channel moving because this is a very expensive endeavor. But there's plenty of free content. I'm doing that on purpose so that people who maybe can't afford or don't don't, you know can't afford to spend the extra money right now can at least access it so go check it out but now let's check out these seat belts all right so I waited for this day for this video to open up this box and you know how hard it was to wait this whole week to look at these things and see how they came out so we're gonna find out how they came out together and I want to thank seatbelt planet for going so fast and getting these back. So I sent them off on a Monday. Shipping was a little expensive. It's about 120 bucks to get it shipped there. And they got it by Wednesday and they got them back to me by the following Monday. So the timing's pretty quick. So here is, oh, they even give you back your old belts as well. Thank you, very nice. And now there's two little boxes inside of here where the new belts are. So let's check one out. So the anticipation is painful here. Oh my gosh, these came out beautiful. All right, folks, you ready? These look great. I'm glad I went with this, uh, this, this color, this design. So let's... So here's basically what happened and any of you who had some concerns about safety um, Which I saw those comments that you wouldn't mess with these they they send you back They actually wind these things and it's it's just like they're back to factory. So no big deal I'm not worried about it. I'm just gonna bolt these things back where they were plug in the electrical and We're back in business. So take a look at how these came out. Let's get up close What do you think folks? Very nice. We're going to see what they look like in the car just a few minutes after I get these things bolted back in place. All right, so remember from the last video, I left all, I put all the screws and bolts back exactly where they were. And because I didn't need to use the car while it was dismantled, I left everything. I left the tools exactly where I, where I ended so I can come right back now and just do everything in reverse and put this back in. You can't screw up which one of these goes where because the plug is in the back on the passenger side on um, towards the back of the car for the electrical and it's in the front on the driver's side and you can't even bolt this thing in if it's on the wrong side. So it's really dummy proof which is good for this dummy right here. So we're going to go ahead and put these in. I'm going to strap this GoPro to my head so you can see the process and we'll, uh, we'll see how they look. All right, just like before, we're gonna remove, just lift this up, and it ended up popping back in when I sat on it. I left the screw right there. I didn't put it back together. So this just slides out, and I didn't snap any of these back. And we're gonna pull out my trusty armor all container and use that to keep this propped up here. So, whoops, there we go. So someone's gonna go out and actually buy that armor all thing because it works so perfectly here. So now I've got access to everything I need to get to here. So we've got our Torx bit, which I'll put a link in the description below to buy that if you need it, if you don't have one already. And let's go ahead and take out these bolts so we can put everything back in and everything should be loose right now. And here's that electrical plug, so you can see it, it goes in this way. So again, you can't screw up how these things go back together. Then we have the Phillips head screw up here for that top. All right, now remember, when you put this back, it's got these hangers right here. So it makes it kind of easy to, you know, to hold it up there. So everything kind of lines up real nice. Take this Torx bolt down here and on this side it's a little a little tight but it's fine use the extension makes it easier and 
before I go full tightened, I'm gonna make sure this is lined up up here. There's no issues, looks good. Finish tightening up this one. So I know how tight they were, so I know that's probably how tight I'm gonna make them. So here we go. Perfect. So that's not going anywhere. Now we're gonna go plug this back in. This area right here, I don't know if you can see it if I get up close, and just wiggle it around, get it perfect. There we go. Slide it in, then push down that little lock right here, and you're good. Now, we've got to get these back up here. So let's remove these bolts. Remember the green Loctite? They're the top bolts, but you don't have to worry too much about that as long as you put everything back as you're doing the job. Nice and tight. Those ain't going nowhere. And now, I'm just gonna feed these through here so I can put this all back. I go through there. Just the plastic flex is just fine. All right, now we can start putting this thing back together. This is good. That's it, electrical's back. Everything's bolted in, nice and tight. Take out my trusty arm roll container, and then let's put this thing back together. This is the fun part to get all the clips lined up. Now last, you gotta do this. Remember this thing? And put that back where it goes here. And then take out this bolt right here. Now let's get this guy back in place and we'll be done with the passenger side. These things look great. Right, make those nice and snug. And everything works. Perfect. Looks good. Back to normal. Now let's take everything and do the other side. This is probably about 10 minutes max. And put all this back together now. Just easy. This goes back super easy. Done. All right, now let's do the driver's side, passenger side, just a 10 minutes at the most. Knock this out real quick too. Grab the tools and our trusty armor all container again. Now we'll switch to the GoPro. I know I look ridiculous. seat in and we're if you look down here you see the the hooks just got to get them into those holes down there and this thing will be done but be wise make sure your seat belts are pulled up or you will have people in your back seat not be able to belt buckle up which is not good so slide it back like that everybody's where they need to be make sure no one is right there Push it back and then it's done. Seat. Seat is in. New seat belts are in. 
we'll mess with these back belts another time just wanted to make sure I can do this and not kill myself here so everything's good looks like factory but cooler all right we did it we got the new seat belts in check these things out from seatbeltplanet.com they came out spectacular and they were easy to to install to remove and reinstall so you can watch my last video to see how to remove the belts to ship them off but the process was simple you simply remove the old assemblies which takes about 15 minutes per side for someone who doesn't know what they're doing like me and put them in a box ship them off it cost me about a little over 120 bucks to get them from california to oklahoma a few days later they reweb the new belts into those assemblies they ship them back to you so it took in total from when i sent it on one monday i got them back the following monday um, doing it that way. They covered the shipping, sending them back to me, which was great. Um, under $400, I think you can get them for cheaper if you just get a solid color. I got the black and red, which cost a little bit more. And also, just a heads up, the lights on the dash that we're on for the, when I unplugged the seatbelt assemblies, are now off. So you don't have to go and get anything reset at the deal or anything like that. So it worked out perfectly. So thank you, Seatbelt Planet. I encourage any of you out there who want to change your belts, to go to seatbeltplanet.com and do do this because it's an easy mod i'm telling you compared to other things i've done like this stereo system this was this was easy to do and i'm going to tackle the rear belts at some point so stay tuned for that um, that may be a little more challenging but you know when i say that then i get into it and i find out it's not as hard as i thought it was going to be so with that said folks thank you so much for following please like please subscribe and i'll talk to you in the next video take care for a love like yours,